It's playtime with Clementine. Woohoo! Come on! That was fun. All right, now sit. Good boy. What a good dog you are. Good training is important for your best friend. Newton always has his running, funning, and schooling before he gets any begging treats. That's how he knows how to behave. As a matter of fact, how people behave can figure on how their dogs will behave. Now, some folks want to blame a certain kind of dog for misbehaving, but it's the folks who keep them who need the training. Let's take a peek. I investigate aggressive incidents so that we can learn to teach people how to, how to deal with their dogs and how to responsibly treat their dogs and kindly treat their dogs so that they um, can be better pets and safer pets. Most of these incidences are highly preventable. Right. And a lot of states we're seeing are passing bills banning certain breeds. What do you think about this? In my mind, breed-specific legislation is always at best misguided. Any breed of dog can be involved in a bad situation. There's even a, a documentation of, of a fatal attack by dachshunds. And yet I don't think anybody with a brain cell in their head would want to ban dachshunds. <laughs> Instead of worrying about banning breeds and banning things, we should be worried about behavior. We should be educating legislators on how to put together ordinances and statutes that address the human behavior and educating owners on what behaviors to encourage and what behaviors to discourage. Showing the dog calm behavior. Um, Choosing those instances where the dog is, is doing good things to reward rather than spending a lot of time correcting what's wrong. If the humans behave properly, the dogs will behave properly. What are some tips that people can use who are afraid of dogs and have to see a dog who's off leash? The first thing you want to do is, is, is watch the behavior of the dog. If the dog begins to approach you, especially if the dog seems threatening, is simply to freeze. Stop in your position, don't advance, look away from the dog slightly and maintain a non-threatening posture. The dog will probably check you out and even if it barks and growls and acts aggressive, if you don't respond and don't move towards it, it's going to lose interest and eventually it's going to decide to go somewhere else. We teach children to turn into a Free. Maintain a quiet, stable position. If the dog comes up and approaches you, the safest thing you can do is actually close your hands so the fingers aren't there. Because fingers are actually very fragile and very easy to damage and very they look like little sausages. Oh, okay. So close your hands, put your hands under your arms so they're not exposed as a target, and then look away from the dog. If you're actually knocked down by a dog, cover up, get your arms in, put your head down, tuck your neck down, and lay there. And again, the dog will probably lose interest. Okay. The biggest mistake you can make is to try and run. Because even a dog that's otherwise friendly, something running away is, a, is, is an attraction. It's a it wants, it's exactly, it wants to chase. And if it's a young child, a dog that's just playing can easily knock them down. Um, or injure the child. And don't scream. That will make it worse. It's going to be tough, especially if the dog actually bites you. But if, um, if, a do if especially a child with that high squeaky voice and funny movements runs and yells and starts screaming, it can make a what could have been an iffy situation turn bad really quick. Okay, so be quiet and still. That quiet means. and still, and as the dog loses interest, then you can slowly back away. And you'll find that you'll, you'll reach a distance where the dog just doesn't care that you're there anymore. Great advice. Thanks for sharing your wisdom with us, Jim. It's been great to be here. Thank you for having me, Michelle. Whoa, that was a lot of information. Now let's see. Oh yeah, when you meet a dog, keep your fingers in. And if they ain't growling or fussy, you can pet them under the chin. Mm -hmm. They'll like that and they can smell you too. But if they're mean or you think you might be scared, don't run. Just freeze like a tree. Like that, be really quiet. They'll lose interest. But if you get knocked down, it's okay. Just curl into a ball. Tuck your head. 
it's all right. Most of the times it'll be fine. Don't be afraid. Just have some fun. Now remember, fingers in. Pet them under the chin. Don't run, but have some fun. Yeehaw! Go best friends.